Hello, this is Tambra Moser, and this is part two of the new Moodle LMS tutorial. I'm now in a course called Bio212. I'm actually working on this right now. It's not finished, but it will be ready for the next term. And once again, there are no panels on either side. We have a nice, wide, full screen. The thingies are going to look a little different. Thingies, <laughs> the little icons, look a little different. I can turn editing on so that we can see the options. All the options are still the same. It's just that the icons look a little different. It's your up, uh, edit, edit the title. You can just edit the title and you get your left and right or up and down. And here's what your update. It used to look like a little cog wheel, but it doesn't look like a cog wheel anymore. It looks like a little piece of paper with a yellow pencil for update. Duplicate, delete, hide show, assign roles, and the PLD, the Personalized Learning Designer. So everything is still there. There's nothing new, nothing has been taken away. Just the icons look a little different. So I'm going to go ahead and turn editing off. You'll also notice up at the top we've got a couple of new buttons. We stopped right there with the alerts and now we have this is participants viewing the participants so I'm going to click on that and you're going to see that at this time I am the only participant in the course but just like last time see it's all the same there's nothing different here it's my picture and my name I can still sort by first and last name here's my email address and everything and this is the same too nothing's different you pick inactivity. So that's participants. I can also click on this is the calendar. I can uh, view by month, view by day, create event. Let's view by month. So it is July. I can go back, use my breadcrumbs. And go back. So that's the calendar. This one, it showed grades. Here's the grades. And you have your dual grader, grade report, dual grade book, legacy outcomes report, overview report, and user report. Dual grader looks just the same. You have your discussion forums here. And you pick one, you're going to be able to see it. You have activity comments, or you can use the individual grading com uh, comment boxes within the rubric itself. So I can return to course. Oh, that one also has show activities requiring reading, which is nice. I believe that's new. I'm not as familiar with all the functionality as, as those of you who have been using it for a while. So there it is. Let me click on that again. We've got the overview report. Yeah, yeah, just the, the grader report, plain old ordinary garden variety grader report. And see, it still has categories and items, the scales, export, everything's here. Click on categories and items, and everything is still here. It should be. I haven't completed this grade book yet. You'll be able to see it looks pretty much the same here instead of the little cog wheel. It uh, looks like a little piece of paper with a pencil up and down, eyeball, lock, everything. When you go to export, it still has all the functionalities. You can select instrument and you want to do it in the Excel spreadsheet. And there's that. Use my breadcrumbs, can go back. So as you can see, it is pretty much the same thing. It may be a little thing here and there that's a little bit different, but by and large, everything is exactly the way it was before. It just looks different. So once again, I encourage you on the 12th when this becomes available, this is a Moodle thing, by the way, that has selected to do this at this time and not GMC. <laughs> uh, so you want to go in and explore around and take a look. I, I, I'm, par I'm fairly confident that you're going to like it better this way. I already do. I like having everything up top instead of on the sides. So this is Tamara Moser signing off. Good luck.